Welcome back to Round Zero. Now, I must warn you, ladies and gentlemen, please be prepared. It turns out that a lot of my characters are dying. Speaking of which, Ethan here has the Commonwealth of Decay virus. He's infected. Now, we need urgently, drastically, immediately to basically run to... So I'm thinking Bunker Hill to start with. Um, and then I think after that, um, because, well, Bunker Hill is going to be overrun anyway. And so is, I think, um, what's it called? Good Neighbor. There should be a robot vendor, a doctor, at one of those places for us to use. I think I'm going in the generally right direction here. When I get a chance, I'll check the map. But be warned, please. All of my series are coming to an end. They're all dying. I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just happening. What I am wanting to do, though, is kind of consolidate all of the Fallout series on the channel so that I'm not trying to operate four series at once. And instead, you know, focus on one maybe two series at a time i've had to do this before i just come up with so many ideas for series and things i want to do and through experimenting get very excited about new things so anyway all i'm trying to say is be warned be prepared this could well be ethan's last episode and i think i'm going to stick with ethan and this series until it comes to an end and then well, it's either a toss-up between monsters and zombies or... Uh, so the Fallout 4 Nightmare episode that I put out. That series or a new... Um... A new evolved Ground Zero, uh, what we're doing here. An evolution of this series to incorporate more settlement building and a few gameplay tweaks. Anyway, it's a toss-up between those two, but that's for future. That's for when Ethan dies. I want to try and keep him alive as long as possible. So uh, let's be smart about this. Or as smart as I'm capable of being. 12 hours, yes, 12 hours. That's this episode. This episode will be 12 hours in-game if it's one hour long. Or maybe is it two hours? Okay, I need to work this out. Give me a second. Yes, I was correct. So one hour in real time is 12 hours in the game, which is what I suspected, but my suspicious brain, my brain which is was suspicious of my maths ability, was trying to convince me that perhaps it was otherwise. But it is not otherwise, it is exact. So, one hour, a one hour episode is 12 hours, so we've got basically till the end of this episode to find a cure. Or Ethan is done for. That rhymed. Alright, okay, we're on. We're on. But we still have to be smart, because if we get shot here, by whatever that is, we are dead. So how about we duck and dive under the water? Let's try and keep Ethan alive for a little bit longer. We'll just avoid combat in general.
know this guy's friendly, so that's fine. Power armor, eh? Okay. Yeah, we've got a survivor down here. Actually, it looks like there's a couple of survivors. What's that noise? Just try to deter them a little bit. Oh, shit. I've run in... Run into a bloody raider base or something. There you are. Let's do this. Oh no. Okay, they're not. They don't look like they're coming after me. They're coming after zombies, I think. What a crazy world we live in. Yeah, that was my footsteps. It was freaking me out a little bit. I thought there was somebody behind me. Okay. That's new. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Have they been there? How long have they been there for? I don't think we've, we've encountered that before. Zombies that are walking across the bottom of the river floor. Riverbed. Okay, we're close now. This is going to be overrun. What weapons do we have? And how much ammo do we have for them? Oh, we have to check in our inventory. Do I only have one gun? Apparently so. 54 rounds. A little bit thirsty and hungry. Classic delay there on the first click. Feels very dark, this game world. I think I've got my colours screwed up somewhere. Like my gamma's off somewhere. I don't know, I've been messing around with my settings on my TV. I think it's just my end, though, my monitor. So you shouldn't actually pick up on that on the video. Um, I should probably check that, shouldn't I, being a YouTuber? Trying to be kind of semi-professional. Um, where are we, though? This way, is it? Alright, we need to do a little bit of work here, then. This place is going to be overrun, like I said. I'm not sure if there'll be a... A doctor here, to be honest. Yeah, we're just over this way. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of zombies in here. This is going to be tough, guys. Fucking hell. Wow, that that was an inappropriate jump scare. That that should not have been that scary. Fucking Jesus. Knocked four things off my desk. Okay, there's not gonna be a there's not gonna be a doctor in there, is there? No way. Good neighbour then? I mean, good neighbour's not a settlement. I mean, it's not a base settlement, is it? So, there's a chance it's just been left. Are you friendly or not? Yeah, you are. You've got a rat. You've got a cockroach. You've got a pet. That means you're you're a hunter, a scavenger. Oh, it doesn't have anything too useful. Combat shotgun, standard mag... Okay. Interesting. 
I don't think I've ever really seen vendors sell mods before. All right, it's kind of getting to me this issue I'm having with the the darkness here, so I might need to pause the recording and do a little bit of tweaking to see if I can improve this. Let me just get to somewhere. It's just very, very dark on my end. All of the blacks have no, you know, like the, the black on the colour of the screen have no outline whatsoever, no detail. It's just darkness, so I need to correct that. Alright, so I've done a bit of tweaking. It should look quite different now. I have actually had to re-enable the ENB. So anyway, let's get on with the mission. Trying to stay alive. It does look a lot better on my end. And hopefully it's not too different. On your end. I will, um, I will do some full-blown tweaking. I don't always like to play with an ENB, but it was the easiest way. I did not know that was a thing. Okay. Is there a doctor here? Please don't kill me. Is there a doctor in the house? Mr. Navigator. Protectron. Iron sides. Holy smokes. Okay. That was a thing. Um, doesn't seem to be a doctor here. So let's go back down. I will do some proper tweaking before I start up a new series with the colour. I don't really need to tell you that. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. As long as the, the gameplay is watchable, I'm sure that's all you guys really care about. So I'll sort that out in the background. But now let's not worry about loot. Let's just focus on trying to get to this doctor. I really don't know what we're going to do if there's no doctor at Good Neighbour. I haven't thought that far through yet. Perhaps, um... could hardly see him. The colour's all off. Anyway, let's just carry on. It is getting dark, though. That's the thing. It is the world. It's getting late. So, you know, visibility is expected to drop. I feel like I might need to do a full reinstall of my game. But, um, anyway... Let's forget about the real world for now. Let's just play here in our imaginary apocalypse. Okay, so... We've got lots of people around. Oh, this isn't actually Good Neighbour, is it? Damn, this isn't Good Neighbour. Good Neighbour's not here, it's further down. Yeah, it is getting a little bit dark. I'll put my torch on. I've got a feeling there's going to be loads of enemies at Good Neighbour. What? Okay. Interesting. Clearly a graphical glitch in this... What the hell? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. This is not great. Yeah, the frame rate's absolutely tanking here. Obviously there's some sort of graphical problem with this part of the map. 
doesn't bode well for our survival, if I'm honest. Whoa. God, the frame right here is atrocious. Now, I don't know exactly where I'm going right now, but I know I'm in the vicinity of Good Neighbour here. Got a light bleed. Come on, mate, get your gun out. Nine hours, damn it. I feel like I should apply a uh, first aid kit. What's in here? Shit. We're in the vicinity of Good Neighbor here. I'm sure of it. Who's walking around? Okay, I'm having a hard time here, guys, because the frame rate is just tanking. Where is Good Neighbor? There? I'll, I will, um, I will figure out where we are in a minute. I've spent a little bit of time in this portion of the map. Not heaps, but a little bit. Just kind of throwing me off how terrible the frame rate is right now. And the fact that we're getting attacked by zombies doesn't help. I'll be honest guys, it's almost unplayable with how terrible this frame rate is. Ooh. Take that, I'm gonna be walking to... Okay. Oh no. Oh my god. I can't, I can't see. The frame rate's killing me. I think I need to do something about this. It's getting a bit much. Yeah, that's two rounds. I don't mind. I'll drop two rounds. It definitely doesn't do that every reload. Where am I? Not oh, fine. Good neighbor. I've said this before. I find good neighbor to be one of the hardest places on this game. Oh, we're bleeding. Get a bandage on, bro. Didn't realise we had a bleed. Okay, it's just not going well for me today. Where are you? I mean, I've got locations on the compass here. Maybe I should be heading towards that. Ethan here is in a mad scramble. Trying to survive the insanity of this place. It's starting to get dark too, so it's going to be harder to recognise places. Came through this way, didn't I? What's that sign there? Over there. It's 
like a maze, this area. This whole area is like a maze. Water Street Apartments. That's not what we're looking for. It's not looking good. Just gonna say, buddy, run into some dogs now. Oh, you son of a bitch stole my kill. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not liking this, guys. It's it's getting a bit... Treacherous. Now, I do need to be over that side, don't I? So I need to go around this way. Can't see a damn thing. Just gonna run for it. And kill whoever this is. Okay, maybe not. Try and get past him. He's obviously preoccupied, I was going to say. Trying to bandage up. Another stim pack into me. Oh my god, this is terrible. We're dead. We're done for. Ethan. He's gone. Everyone's dying. All my characters. I don't believe it. Not see anything. Guys, I'm afraid. I've got no bandages. Something about today, ladies and gentlemen. Something about this day. Everyone is dying. Everyone in the world, in my world, is coming to an end. And that means... Unfortunately, we are saying goodbye to Mr. Ethan as we delete all of his saves and we take ourselves right the way back to the very first save in the world and we delete it. Now, um, doing this will exit the game without saving now that's it ladies and gentlemen we say goodbye to this short-lived but interesting and difficult ground zero 2.0 survivalist experience it's fun i need to do a little bit of tweaking with my performance um i feel like the grass mod and the enb has a bit of an effect on tanking the frame rate um anyway that's something for me to do in the background so this opens up the, the floor now for a new Ground Zero Survivalist series with a few tweaks on my behalf. Something along the lines of the Zombieland Conquest reanimated kind of world setup. And um, I'll find the perfect balance for that. So it will either be that or it will be the Monsters and Zombies series, which we've done one episode of as a bit of an experiment. So yeah. Everyone's dying, everyone's gone, and at the end of the day, it's nice sometimes to close one door and put these things behind us so that we can open a new door in our life and move on to bigger and brighter and better and more beautiful things. All right. Chaos. That's all I've got to say. Chaos. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. For joining me for this episode of ground zero for this final episode of the survivalist update series i hope you'll join me for whatever is yet to come goodbye for now